So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my top five blank cassettes. Now, this is strictly based on my own personal experience, my own personal opinion. Uh, I've used many blank tapes over the years, and I sat down and thought about it, and I chose what I felt were my five favorite blank cassettes. Now, this is very untechnical. This is, this is not based on stats or anything like that. Again, this is strictly based on my own personal opinion. I sat down and I thought about the five blank cassettes that I felt always gave the best results. What gave the clearest, most cleanest recordings? What gave the most faithful reproduction of the original source? So I thought about that and I came up with this list. So here are my top five all-time favorite blank cassettes. Coming in at number five is BASF Chrome Extra 2. Yes, I had many of these back in the day and they always seem to work very, very well. No matter if I was making a recording of a compact disc, something off the radio, a vinyl, or even another cassette, it, it just seemed this BASF Chrome Extra 2 always gave very faithful reproduction of the original source and uh, I always found it to be a real workhorse and very, very reliable. Coming in at number four is Sony UX. Now, of course, there was Sony UX, and there was also Sony UX Pro, which I've also used and which was also excellent. Uh, it just so happens that Sony UX was the one that I used the most. And in terms of clean recordings, this one was amazing. I, I love this one. Uh, and it always seemed to give excellent results. And I was always very satisfied and very happy with it. I also need to give an honorable mention, since we're on the topic of Sony blank cassettes, I want to give an honorable mention to a line of cassettes that came out in the 90s called Sony CD It. And as you can tell by the title, these cassettes I think were intended to for the recording of compact discs. And uh, I always found this one a very good, very reliable blank cassette as well. Again, that's Sony CD It. Coming in at number three is a blank cassette that not a lot of people talk about, uh, which is unfortunate because I, I always love this blank cassette. Uh, it's Fuji Z or Fuji Z as we say here in Canada. And yeah, back around sort of the late 90s, I bought this cassette a lot. I have many of these in my collection. Uh, I used it to record all kinds of different things. I used it to record compact discs and I found it was always great. Uh, the, the results were always really clean and clear and crisp and uh, it was just a very excellent blank cassette. Now again, I don't know why people don't often talk about this one. I don't see much information about it on the internet, uh, but if you ever happen to come across one, if, especially if you find one that is still sealed, um, pick it up. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Again, that was Fuji Z. Uh, yeah, just a really, really good chrome cassette. Coming in at number two is TDK SA. Now, I've mentioned before that uh, I've been a home recordist for many years. I'm a songwriter. Uh, I've had a home studio for many, many years. Back in the day, I used to record on four track cassette and uh, the TDK SA always worked very well in my cassette four track. And uh, yeah, I always found it very reliable, uh, very clean and, and just always it, it always gave uh, excellent results. Now, as many of you are aware, there was also the TDK SAX, and that was even better. That one was even better than the TDK SA uh, and had an even better dynamic range. Uh, but I, I, I would mention TDK SA for my list simply because I used to find the SA was e easier to find. And when I would go shopping for blank cassettes, uh, it just seemed that the TDK SA was um, easier to find, easier to locate, uh, but I do have a few SAXs in my collection and that one was fantastic as well. Um, so I'll give a tip of the hat to the TD TDK SAX as well. Coming in at number one, and this probably isn't a surprise for many people, I've mentioned this tape many times before, Maxell XL2. Yeah, just an absolute workhorse. And as I mentioned, I used my cassette four track back in the day, and I probably used this tape the most. I found that 
when I used this one in my four track, the results were always excellent and, and just amazingly clear. And uh, I just found this was a really reliable cassette. And not just for four track recordings. I used to use this to make mixtapes that I would play in my car and they always sounded great. Um, I remember I used to buy them in these sort of uh, two packs uh, at one of my local retailers. And uh, yeah, it was just fantastic. I, I just found it to be a very reliable, dependable, excellent cassette. And to this day, if I had to mention my all-time favorite blank cassette, I have to say Maxell XL2. So I hope you enjoyed this list. Please feel free to share what is your all-time favorite blank cassette. Uh, feel free to share your top five favorite blank cassettes. Um, give us a thumbs up and please, as always, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it really helps my channel grow and it's always greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you can join us again next time. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.